It seems extreme. He pulls him away from the crowd. But because of this man's deafness, think about it. If he just told this deaf man, hey, go, go, go wash. Deaf man should he still be sitting there like, what is that? What? What do you do? Where I'm supposed to go? Jesus didn't give him just like verbal instructions because he wouldn't be able to hear a verbal instruction. Jesus customizes. Think about how kind the Lord is. Pulls this man to, you know, he can't hear. He can't talk. Come on, come on. He probably sign language over to him. Come on, come with, come with me. He, he goes through the extreme of saying, Epita. I'm sure he just did it very big and bold, like be open. He does it face to face. He doesn't just care like, "Uh, well, you know, just do it. He didn't do like everybody else. He customized this man's miracle in a way he could understand it. Do you know that that he wanted him? It was an interactive miracle. I'm not just going to send you out and do whatever. I want you to really see and feel and know that I see you and I feel you and I'm going to do everything that needs to be done so that you can see that I love you. Can you feel Jesus doing this for you? Can you feel him customizing? You know, it's not a one size fit all. Aren't you, aren't you glad God is not like that? It's not a one size fit all type of God. Like God will do exactly what you need in a way that you can understand. That's how good the Lord is. 